Well, hello everyone out there on YouTube land. I hope that everybody's doing well. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. So I got a little Mariano's haul. Um, if if you're familiar with Kroger and Roundy's brands, this store uh, kind of you know uh, sells those two uh, brands. Um, although they have a lot of brands, but I'm just saying you know that type of store that has Kroger and or Roundy uh, products. But anyway, um, so I have a haul here, and I have, I'm have i going to tell you some of the prices as well, hopefully. <laughs> so anyway, let me start over here with this meat. Um, I have here a soup bone, and you can see that it's $1.99. I have two marrow bones here. This is one for $3.92. Here's another one for $3.95. And then I have uh, some oxtails. It's just three of them, and that's for eleven uh, twenty-six. And what I'm going to be doing, if you can't guess already, is a beef bone broth. I was getting ready to make an, another stock, and I was like, uh, you know, vegetable. I was like, you know what? You haven't had any really have meat in a while, sub substantially. And you definitely haven't had any beef broth, uh, bone broth. So I was like, let me make some bone broth. That would be so delicious. So I'll be making that very soon. I'm going to clean them up and braise them a little bit or sear them. And then I'll put them in my Instant Pot. So I'll look out for that video. I picked up a um, just a little small roast. I love roast and steaks. Oh my goodness. I love me some roast. Like with some rosemary or something. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. <laughs> and you know it's going to be seared beautifully. Then put in one of my um, heavy cast iron uh, uh, to, to, to broil, uh, to roast or whatever. So anyway, uh, got this and that's 1071. And these are all things like black angus. And this is a, uh, I love hot dogs. I uh, haven't had any in a long time. So I picked this up. These were $4.99 or $5.99. Uh, yeah, $4.99. Regularly $5.99. These were also on sale. And I started to get the uh, one without the sh get one thick cut, the regular, and then one, uh, the regular one without the sugar, but I just say you just get two of the thick cut. So this is just a pound of bacon, and it's the uncured uh, hard wood smoked bacon, which is supposed to be thick cut. I don't know where it says that at, but anyway, this is a thick cut. Oh, okay, thick slice. And these are um, vegetarian fed diet and no preservatives, and these are can, uh, products of can, uh, Canada. So I just got two of those. These were on. Uh, they were. I said they were four ninety nine. Usually, normally five ninety nine, so they were on sale. These were on sale for two seventy nine. I always try to pick up uh, butter when I go to, you know, because I always use butter, and you can always put it in the plastic or your Ziploc and keep it in the freezer, you know. So I always pick that up. I think I'm going to be making some ghee very soon, so look out for that video. Love ghee and love oh, clarified butter and cultured butter. Hmm. Anyway, me and fat. Anyway, so I got this Kobe uh, Kobe Jack. This was on sale, normally about ten dollars. I think it was on sale for seven ninety nine. Pick that up. That's going to be for my quiches. I, I did meant to, I meant to get block. They, I didn't see really a lot of block, but I did have I do have some, but I don't feel like chopping it up even in the uh, food processor. I don't. So and I picked up. Um, me this box of coffee i normally pick these up every now and again you know when you don't feel like uh putting a pot of coffee on you just have a single serve especially if you have some hot chocolate or some uh hot cocoa you know cocoa mix or whatever and mix it in together i love that that's very very good and i picked up some nooch <laughs> this is my first time buying nooch you know it's all the rage in the vegan community and whatnot so i i'm gonna be off chips again I'm gonna and I'm just gonna be off chips. I gotta get off, but I, I have tons of popcorn, tons and tons. So I was hoping that this might be something I can um, utilize for that and other things as well, of course. Um, picked up. Um, oh, I didn't say how much this cost. This, this is about four, four, almost five dollars because the the uh, Bragg's one was almost the same price. Let me see. Sorry. Um, 
<laughs> I might have to come back. I just saw, but the because the brag food was five ninety nine, so this was four something. It was just a little bit off, but I was like, well, let me just save my little corn currents. Save my currents. I'll come back to that because for some reason I don't see it. So anyway. Um, so these were on sale. As you can see, they were reduced. I love these. I'm just going to put these in the freezer because they're going to be uh, expiring. So I'm just going to throw them in the freezer. It's two each in, in both of them. And I love to utilize those. I do have, a matter of fact, I have a, vi a video that I made because I made up something the other day with uh, some of those that I had already. But I'll be putting those straight into the freezer. These will be going to the freezer or I'll make uh, bake them and then put them in the freezer. That's normally what I do. I picked up uh, two uh, wines for cooking, two cooking wines. I got the uh, red and a marsala. And of course that's gonna be for my roast as well as the bone broth. And they were both on sale for for $3.59 or that's the regular price $3.59 so that was not bad I picked up I always try to pick up like cans of uh, chicken cans of tuna cans of sardine cans of salmon because you just never know and plus I just love to eat them anyway so I did get uh, this um, two of these I think they were $1.99 or uh, a little less than a dollar ninety nine, so two of those, and then this regular one, which is a Kroger brand, was sixty nine cent or something like that. Then I picked up a couple of ball lids. I will be doing some canning. I have been doing some overnight things. I pickled some onions, of course, because you know you gotta pickle onions. And I did some a lot of over uh, overnight cucumbers, which are so delicious, which I will be eating as soon as I get finished with this video. So I just picked up some lids because I'll be make. I think I'm gonna be doing some jams and whatnot. Our grapes are almost ready. Um, plus, I, I, I although I ate my strawberries that from my garden, I, I just because um, I I ate the, ate them, but I'm gonna be making up some more. Uh, uh, making up some more. I'm going to be making some uh, jams and jellies and things like that. And I'll probably use this. Oh, this is liquid. I didn't even notice this was the liquid one. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Now that was, uh, let's see how much that costs. Uh oh. Okay, so yeah, that was $5.99. And these uh, lids were $4.49 for and four twenty nine. Yep. So yeah, yeah. So anyway, and this was these were on sale. Hold on, excuse me. I forgot to mention how much these were. Um these were four three ninety nine, which is a lot. Uh, if I got them from Walmart, I think it would have been cheaper, but that's okay. So these were five ninety nine, and the nutritional yeast was five twenty nine. So the and the brags, like I said, was five ninety nine. So I just picked it up. I, I won't know the difference right away anyway, because I never ate it. What I'm, I, as far as I know, anyway. And then I got these strawberries. These strawberries were three ninety nine. I only got the pound. I started to get two, and I was like, just get the little, get this for now, because I am growing some, but they're not producing as much as they were uh, per in the summer and then of course we got I said these were $1.34 right these were on uh, some kind of close out for some reason I gotta check to see why because they still had some in another aisle for they were still showing $5.99 so I just picked up two I know these are big containers but you know I'll, I'll probably you know it's salt doesn't go bad so it has a good shelf life so I'll be now but I need this can this pickling salt for various things I'm going to be doing um some peppers and just di different things so uh stay tuned for that so I got me some nice sourdough I will be starting to make my bread I haven't been really making my bread like I need to but they, they got me a nice little loaf of sourdough uh sliced uh, this was $2.99, so I will probably be using this as well to make like um, marmalade or something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then that's what these strawberries were for. Like I said, $2.99, $3.99. And then these bananas were six, um, $0.69 cent a pound, I believe. And they were, um, I think it came up to about $1.79 or something like that. So I think 
that is all so just got those to be munching on and whatnot so yeah I've just got some odds and end things and whatnot just some things to throw in the freezer and to enjoy hello hello <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day hope you enjoy this video let me know if you have any questions or thoughts about the things that i purchased let me know if you have ever eaten nutritional yeast are you a nutri are you a nooch fan <laughs> ah, so yeah i'll talk to you guys later love you so much and don't forget to live a life that is victorious in christ jesus because all other ground is sinking sand. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye for now. So I can't pull with this uh, ugly, ugly pumpkin contest. <laughs> Not too bad. You should have seen the ones I saw uh, a couple years ago.